Okay, we're at uh, Winfield Mounds and we're here to do a simple experiment. Um, we're wanting to see whether you could have a clear line of sight to the between the village site, the settlement area, and the mounds area. So what we've done is we've set up a flashlight on a tripod um, over by the mounds, about five feet, four or five feet off the ground. Uh, we're now standing near the settlement site along just uh, within yards of the DuPage River and a few yards off of the trail that runs along the river. It's near dusk on a uh, mid-November day here in Winfield, Illinois. So the question is, is can we see the flashlight from the, the settlement? And one would think so because the contour lines on the topographical surveys show that this is a high area and then the mound area is also a high area and there's a dip in the ground between the two so and it would make sense because if you're going to bury your clan or family members someplace you probably want to see the site or have easy access to it from where you're living or staying so so if you can see between the two that that tends to support the idea that there was a tangible link between the settlement area and the mounds um, so Let's turn the camera around and see if we can see the flashlight. And hopefully you can see that. That's about a hundred yards distant. That flashlight is standing uh, between all three of the effigy mounds. Just off the path just off the path yeah exactly and uh, it's a very bright flashlight uh, about a thousand lumens but we thought it would show up best near dusk um, on, on and best demonstrate uh, the visibility between the settlement side now there's a lot of brush and trees and scrub between the settlement and the mounds today whether that was true a thousand years ago is another question. Let's zoom back. But uh, it's very clear that there was a clear line of sight between the two sites and, and thereby supporting the idea that uh, the mounds in the settlement were associated. Anything else to add, Joyce? No, I just kind of thought that it would be like this, so just neat to be able to see that, yeah, it actually is true. <laughs> yeah. I would imagine there would have been a straight path right through there. Why else put them there? Let's uh, walk along the ridge and just see if we can see it from a few other spots. So we you can, you can see it from the ridge itself right here. And uh, it goes in and out based on the trees. Now we're, we're a little bit southwest. Ah, but there, you can just make it out through the trees there. That's yeah, uh it's barely discernible over here. You can yeah you can just see it right there. This is a little bit southwest along the path. But as Joyce said the settlement would have been stretched out most likely along the ridge here. And you catch glimpses of it in here and along the way. Yeah, there we go. It's 
So even with all of this modern buckthorn and another brush from invasive species, you can still see the distance of about 100 yards, by the way. This is about 100 yards to, between the two locations. So it's not a stretch at all to be able to see between the two. And this is low light conditions right now. So visibility is limited, but um, we just use the flashlight just to demonstrate the point. So we've come back to the area just southwest or uh, southwest of where we were along the, the ridgeway by the river and uh, indeed you can see the flashlight from here. Uh, there is more undergrowth and brush and scrub that one is going through here but uh, you definitely can see the flashlight from, from this location as you can see. I'll just zoom back out. So uh, yeah, you definitely can see the, the mound area from all along the ridge, uh, along the river here, including the settlement site. But I'll just keep the, the camera going and you can see the flashlight pop in and out. Yep, spots like right there. So I'm just walking all along this, this ridge, which had the settlement area, the occupation area, and you can see different spots, more or less, where the uh, where the flashlight is more or less visible. And that's a function of the, the scrub and the undergrowth. But it's definitely very visible here. and head home, I think. Before it gets too dark. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to get lost in the woods at night. <laughs> 